Here is the brain. And over here we have the muscle. So what happens is, is that the brain sends an electrochemical signal to the muscle so that it tells it to contract. Before we go any further, we need to know basic vocabulary. This is called one sarcomere, an individual cylindrical unit in the myofibrils. Myofibril is a cylindrical structure that carry out contraction. The black lines are the Z lines. They are the bands that mark the sarcomere's borders. This is called the M disc or the thick filaments or the myosin. Now this, these thick filaments actually pull in the thin filaments that actually contract the muscle. Now the red are called thin filaments, also known as the actin. These are the lightest and least dense structures of the sarcomere. Let's take a look at this particular part of the sarcomere. Again, here are the thick filaments and the thin filaments and the Z line. Now, what we're looking at here is a relaxed state of the sarcomere. This is a sarcomere when it is contracted. It has something called cross bridges. A cross bridge is when a myosin head is attached to the thin filament. Now, this happens because of a conformational change that is triggered in the myosin head, which causes them to pull the thin filaments inward. Here, we're going to start talking about muscle contraction on a more molecular level. Here we have the acetylcholine vesicles. Down here we're going to have the DHP receptor. Over here we're going to have this lateral sac of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And up inside we're going to have the calcium. Now over here we're supposed to have the sarcolemma. However, it does say sarcomere. I apologize for that mistake. The sarcolemma is a specialized plasma membrane of the skeletal cell. It's a protective sheath that surrounds the whole cell. Over here, we're going to have the receptors for the acetylcholine vesicles. All of these parts play an essential role in muscle contraction. Here we're going to see the acetylcholine coming down from the synapse and into the receptors. Now as we zoom in closer, we're going to see that the acetyl and the choline separate. Now this allows for the action potential sent by the brain to go through the sarcolemma into the DHP receptor. The DHP receptor opens up the lateral sac of the sarcoplasmic reticulum to open up and send down calcium. Before we move on, we should label a few things. The green clay is a thick filament. The red clay that is wrapped around the blue clay is called a tropomyosin. And the little brown clay that's on the red clay is called a troponin. So the troponin is on the tropomyosin, and the calcium attaches to the troponin. ADP plus P makes a thin filament now attached we are going to, to the see thick ATP filament. ATP bring the thick filament down from the thin filament. And that is what ATP has to do with the muscle contraction. Once ATP is used, we are going to see ADP come back to the thick filament and attach to the actin once again. Muscle contraction and the cardiovascular system have a lot to do with each other. The heart is a muscle and it needs to contract in order for the body to live. So, 
How does the heart contract? Well, it's exactly how you just saw. The electrical chemical signal is sent down from the brain to the heart make and making the sacromeres contract, making your heart beat. Thank you so much for watching our video. My name is Samuel, and my partner's name was Ismail. Thank you.